Okay, so 2020 has been a freaking ride so far. I can safely say that it has been the most exciting year of my life. And it's not even over. It's way too early to reflect. But my emotional state made me reflect on some things. Um, I'm a guy for seasonal mood swings. Let's call them like that. I wouldn't I wouldn't call call it depression because that's really something else. Um, let's just say there was there was a big dark cloud hanging over my head and it made me question some things and um, most of all it made me question why I wasn't happy. At this time I felt like working like a factory. I had many things to do with producing the new Versus Goliath EP with many many other projects that I had on my hands which is great. I love I love it when I when I got work, really, especially in this year. I mean, it's so crazy to think that I haven't played a single concert this whole year. But I don't want to talk about the virus today. I really, really don't. So, it also made me reflect on my YouTube channel. And I felt like I wasn't really happy with the last videos. Which doesn't mean that I think they are bad, but I just didn't feel really emotionally involved in the process of making them. And I do believe that it's very important to be emotionally involved, to be passionate about it. Because as you can probably tell, I'm a very emotional <laughs> and passionate guy. Um, so it's strange for me to, to make music when I'm not really hyping it. That is a really dumb word, but I think it works in this case. Um, putting out a remix every week is tough. I don't think I can live up to that. And I don't think that I want to. Which doesn't mean I want to stop making remixes. No, not at all. Um, but I do believe that I have to get back to that mindset of making a remix when I'm really passionate about it. Because only then it can be good. Like I said, I don't want to stop making remixes. Not at all. But I want to expand. And I'm gonna tell you what I held back for the past two years. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> it's crazy to think that two years ago I wrote three songs for a project that I was planning and I didn't know where to go and that and it showed. <laughs> That's why I needed time. Time to figure out where I want to go with my own songs and I do think that I am ready to show you. And I'm talking about Lunar. So, what is Lunar? Actually, I think you have to wait another week for this. I'm very sorry, but I made a video on that, which comes out in seven days, so Saturday. And I'm gonna explain everything to you. <laughs> this is a huge step for me because I was thinking and scrapping and planning and starting over again uh, so many times the past two to three years now. And now I'm finally ready to show you. And I have many, 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 many other ideas that I really want to make that will all help me to get back to that passionate mindset. Because if I'm, if I'm looking back at my channel, there's the Sweden remix, which I had in my head and I just made. And then there were some other things that I really wanted to tick off my list. I got this list of things that I want to do musically. Since I started producing, I always wanted to make soundtrack. Orchestral scoring always seemed like such a big deal for me. I did experiment a lot with string sounds, but they were also all sounding so shitty. So <laughs> it really, it really uh, it can't compare to this. But I always heard this in movies and I always wanted to make it myself. Not because there was something missing in the music that I was listening to because I said, oh, I wish they would have made them like that. No, not at all. It was perfect. And I wanted to make it myself. I wanted to show myself that I was able to do it. And Area Math and Wet Hands were both in a genre of soundtrack that I wanted to make since I was a little kid. Since I was this 12 year old boy sitting in front of his... Oh God. Let's continue. Where was I? 
the 12 year old boy sitting in front of his laptop and just wondering why the fuck doesn't doesn't that work <laughs> why the fuck doesn't that sound like john williams and i always wanted to make synthwave i really wanted to try it and orchestral synthwave works too i guess but i wasn't really this passionate about the idea i thought mm, that could work let's try it and at the end of the day i wasn't dancing around and also i i filmed i filmed i actually did film a, a making off of that track but i watched the footage and saw a guy that was really struggling to get things right and be entertaining and just not enjoying what he did and it showed that's why i decided to upload the song but not the making of and it's sad because i know that i really want to do it i really want to make those remixes i really do enjoy making them but i guess not every week maybe i don't know what the perfect schedule is like maybe i just have to listen to what my emotion is telling me. And with all the craziness in this world going on right now, and nobody knowing what to do and whatever, I think there has never been a better time to listen to your heart. That sounds very cheesy, but it's actually true, I think. And I will live by that. I will listen to what my passion is telling me. And I'm very, very, very excited to share all that with you. Okay, so I hope you're having a wonderful day or night or whatever. And I'm going to see you next week. All right. <laughs> see you guys.